PC is augmentative and alternative communication. Um, that's what the letters stand for. And then augmentative means something that supports verbal speech or um, it's like the language of a student. And then alternative means just other than speaking with your voice. So it's something used as a tool to communicate uh, without speaking with your voice. Any of our kids who their verbal speech is just not quite cutting it. It's not functional enough for them. Uh, it could be that their verbal speech just isn't developed yet. Maybe they don't have verbal speech at all. Um, it could also be they have verbal speech and most of the time it's okay, but occasionally they have moments of frustration where the words just aren't coming. Um, and it could be easier for them to point to a picture or use a speech generating device. At Bridgeway we see a lot of, I feel like, picture icons, which um, we call PECs, Picture Exchange Communication. Uh, we've also seen more like choice boards, which is just a, a almost like a static piece of paper that have different choices on it, maybe um, core vocabulary such as like eat, go. Um, there's also Sign. We see a lot of sign language here at Bridgeway. Um, a lot of teachers and staff incorporate sign in their lessons. Um, we also see communication devices as well. Um, these can be an iPad with a language application on it with different vocabulary on the screen that navigates maybe a category of choices for the student. Um, so we can see it in iPad form and then a speech generating device which um, is just more of like a durable device that has a little bit more involved hardware, but it's still the same language and the same vocabulary that you see on the iPad. Model, model, model all the time. Um, whenever we're talking to kids, when we're teaching kids verbal language, we're constantly talking at them. We're narrating what's going on. We're saying things out loud. We're modeling. We're saying eat and more and go and all done, all of those things. Um, for an AAC user, we want it to be the same way. So if it's a picture symbol, every time you verbally are saying the word eat, you're gonna show the picture symbol for eat. Every time you're verbally saying the word, oh, let's do more, we're gonna either sign for more, we're gonna point to a picture for more, or we're gonna use the speech generating device and say more. Modeling is really the number one thing. Also, I think just having the device or the picture icon with the child or student at all times, um, showing them that it is powerful and it's something, it's a tool for them to use, not just at school, they can use it out in the community, they can use it um, on the playground or at home, making sure it's transitioning with them around the house, just to have it within reach. I have seen a lot of kids say their first word with me and I mean I will never forget those kind of moments the very first time a kid either verbally says their first word or uses AAC for the first time and really makes that connection of oh I hit this button on a speech generating device it said go out loud and Miss Gina pushed the swing she made it go no I get it now like seeing that that moment, uh, that spark of, oh, I can communicate. It's just a beautiful thing.